Hello and welcome back. This must be part six or something like that by now. But, um, we're going to be doing the exporting of our object and textures into Unity, and we'll run through some of the uh, the common confusions that people run into, even myself sometimes. You know, I'm not a god. Uh, but first of all, I don't know if you remember, uh, but I said I would do something with this extra geometry that I put in on this. We're going to change it later. Of course, I completely forgot to do that. So before we sort out any of our exporting and whatnot, I'm just going to hop into the tweak room to finally show you it. And we're just going to change our mesh just a tiny bit, just so I can at least say that I have shown it to you. So I'm going to enable my symmetry uh, on the X and the Z here. And I'm just going to hide that. I'm just going to push. That's the wrong tool. I'll use the move tool. I'm just going to push some of this in. I just want a slight little curve to this. Um, and it kind of wonkies it up a little bit. I could be using radial symmetry to get a, a sort of a more even push around all the sides, but I don't actually mind a little bit of unevenness. Um, I think that's okay. Um, so yeah, it's just a it's just a little 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 bend. I don't like that bit sticking out. Push that in. So yeah, it's just a uh, just adds a, a tiny bit more interest to this uh, silhouette rather than having it straight. And that was why we put the loops in there. So now now we can actually go ahead and get this thing ready for Unity. And the one thing that catches most people out. Uh, aside from the normal maps not being rendered correctly within Unity, is that the um, roughness map, the thing that sort of makes everything shine, if I view uh, gloss roughness only with the three key, uh, this is the map that most people get confused about uh, because I think at least by default you actually you have the invert of what you want if you just come up here to the uh, export Im import workflow and just swap it to gloss slash metalness that will invert it for you so now when you export it out it'll just be correct um, and if you also just wanted to check your metalness map that's the A key so um, following sort of the same rules as uh, like the old school bump maps white is high black is low so in terms of reflections or gloss or anything white is a high amount black is a low amount and it's the same i just hit the three key there it's the same with the roughness or the gloss so this is super glossy this is not glossy at all so i'll just press number five and come back out of that um yeah so let's get to exporting there is uh, a really handy tool uh, in 3D Cope, but unfortunately uh, I don't know if it's uh, an issue just for me or if it is yet another bug, but I'll show you this. It's the export objects and textures and you just specify an output, out, sorry, uh, an output mesh. Um, make sure you do because by default that's blank. Uh, and then you can even do something by coming over say Unity standard, uh, find the maps that you want, remove the ones that you don't. So we haven't used a mission, we haven't done anything with height. Our occlusion, I'm actually going to just include that in the color map. I'll explain a bit more about that later. So we don't need that separate. So we just need our color, metallic, and our normal. And I normally do PNGs for anything that doesn't have its own alpha channel. Metallic needs an alpha channel because, as you can see here, the idea is to stick the glossiness or the roughness into that. Um, now I'm not going to hit OK because on my machine uh, I just get an instant crash. So try it out for yourself. If it works, great. That's all you need to do. If it doesn't work, then uh, keep watching and you'll find out another way to do this. So the other way is um, just go up to textures and export. And the idea is just to do this one by one. Uh, so I'll do my color first. Cupcake underscore 
uh, color or albedo, diffuse, whatever you want to call it. Uh, doesn't matter. And then textures, export, and we're going to do the metal on this map. And because we're going to be using a standard Unity material, we do want to store the gloss in the alpha channel. So make sure that that is ticked on. So man on this, and this one will be a TGA, as I said before, because we need that alpha channel. So cupcake, man on this. And then lastly, uh, the normal map. And we want the tangent space, not the world space. Uh, so cupcake, normals. When you do uh, the bake, I believe there is a window that pops up and it has some sort of um, settings on that and I believe mine is set to unity but I think even if yours aren't at that point I, th I believe all that will do is it changes something in the preferences so you can change this at any point so mine I've just set it up like this I don't think it was like this by default I can't remember I I, I do remember having to look on the forums quite a lot the best way for me to sort of tell you how to do it right to get into unity is just copy this as for why it is like this i just i couldn't tell you um it's a bit out of my league but um yeah so that's it for the normal map if it's like this then you are good to go uh so that's the textures done so now we just need to get the object out and you can either do that by uh if you use this objects and textures exporter if you just if you don't tick any of the textures then it will just export the actual object itself so i'll just hit okay for me that's fine it's it tends to crash whenever i do t textures in that menu um the other way to do it and i th i think there's a few ways but the other way to do it which is one of my common ways is actually in the retopo room you just hit retopo and export and it will just it will export all of this so that's how you get all of your stuff out correctly. So now we're going to hop over to Unity and we're going to drag all of our new files in. Here we are inside Unity and I've just dragged uh, all of those files into a cupcake folder within Unity. And so the first thing I want to do, which is uh, it's a nice habit to get into, but it's to sort out your t texture settings. And we know that ours was a 1024 and these aren't tiling maps, they are definitely clamped, so make sure that that's on. Um, there's no point in using crunch compression for the sake of a tutorial, but um, it's a good little good little tool. Uh, so we'll hit apply on that. And then the only thing that we have to change is our normal map. We have to tell Unity that it is a normal map. Make sure this option is turned off. So oh, I've got to apply that. Uh, so let's just drop in our cupcake. And there it is. Uh, hmm. The mesh, um, as it comes out of 3D coat, it normally has smoothing groups of like one over the whole thing because we're using a normal map to control it. So if you see these sort of weird um, areas here where it should be, you know, sharp sort of triangles. Uh, it's just because the smoothing groups uh, are all the same. So don't worry about that. So let's just create a material, call it cupcake, and then we'll just drag our textures in. And that's pretty much it. So now we just need to throw this material on um, our cupcake, and there we go. So it's, uh, it's done. It's pretty bright, but it is done. Uh, you might notice that we don't really have much in the ways of uh, reflection on the beads. Um, I think that's because of two reasons. One, this mesh isn't static, and the other is that there isn't really an environment to reflect. Uh, it's just a gray sky. So let me just uh, let me mess around a little bit here. So I'll drop in a ref ref reflection probe. Uh, let it do its thing. Right, yeah, okay. Uh, do you remember when I said in 3D Coat to change over the import export 
workflow for the uh, the gloss roughness stuff. If you just come up here to the uh, export Im import workflow and just swap it to gloss slash metalness. Oh, it turns out that I actually forgot to hit that, so uh, I just re-exported the metalness map with the uh, the gloss workflow instead, and uh, yeah, so there's a a reflection. You can see the cupcake from the top because that's where our reflection probe is. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. I'm just going to mess around with the lighting a little bit, turn off skybox lighting, bit of color, something like that. I mean, this cupcake, uh, the texture is very saturated, so it suits, you know, not necessarily realistic lighting. Let's get rid of that, there's no need. Uh, but we can see that the normals have come in okay. Uh, the reflection stuff works. Um, I say the reflection stuff, I mean the metalness and, well, I mean, y Unity calls it smoothness, 3D Coat calls it roughness. I think uh, roughness is uh, how most other people would call it. So yeah, no, that's it. If, for some bizarre reason, you want this cu cupcake, um, I think I'll probably just upload the FBX and the textures, and uh, I'll export a Unity package as well, so you should be able to find that in the description of the video. Uh, I don't know why you would want it, but either way, uh, I made it for an overview, uh, so I don't have any use for it, so if somebody out there can use it, feel free. Uh, no need to credit me or anything, it's just a crappy little cupcake. Um, let me know if there's anything that I missed, or if there's anything that you didn't quite understand, or if you're trying it and you're getting odd results. Um, but otherwise, that about wraps it up, I think, for the 3D Coat overview. Um, I'll be back at some point with different tutorials and stuff, so thanks for watching.